Every hero needs a villain. In their search for the mask of creation, the Toa must face enemies raised from the dead. This is Bionicle Week, the resurrection of evil. Day 6, the slicing, bashing Skull Warrior. Hello, this is Santa out here, and welcome back to Bionicle Week, the resurrection of evil. Day 6, where we'll be taking a look at the, let's say, the slicing, bashing Skull Warrior. Because this combination doesn't have an official name. This is a combination of the Skull Basher, Skull Slicer, and Skull Warrior Lego sets. And, as you can see, it is quite an impressive combination, giving a giant four-armed monster here. It does retain some functions from Basher, which kind of makes me think that, you know, if I were to create a story for this, Basher took parts of Dead Skull Slicer, Dead Skull Warrior, and attached it to himself and reformed himself into this thing. Also, you could say, like, Kulta maybe used the Mask of Creation to create this out of his, you know, dead minions or whatever. But as you can see, it's very nice looking. Um, it's actually quite an impressive combo. This is not like the Special Tahu or Special Kopaka or the power-up modes for the Toa. This is a full-on combination. Everybody has to be disassembled and put back together to make this. And it looks really, really cool. Now, taking a look at the combo, first things first... The bow pieces, the bone pieces for the bow of the Skull Warrior are now the horns, so they still function the way Basher's horns did, so the mask will pop off if you uh, bump them just right, which makes it easy for the toe to defeat them, but not much else. On the back, you can see you've got um, these, which are articulated. Uh, you could adjust these horns back here. He also has three toes, and his feet are doubled feet. Um, which is pretty neat overall. A very nice build. The only consistent, the color scheme, color scheme is very consistent, except for one orange, one gray, um, but not too bad overall. Really, really nice. Plus, they did work in the gear function, so that he does have two arms that do, you know, the two left arms and the two right arms swing together. But the way they're designed is, if you wanted to have like these arms, like this, you can totally have that going. Other than that, he is quite articulated. He's got two joints in the neck, uh, including the falling off mask feature that I just love and adore and never want to see again. You also get shoulders here, elbows, wrists, shoulders, elbows, wrists, shoulders, elbows, wrists, shoulders, elbows, wrists. You also get hips, knees, and ankles. Um, so this guy can actually assume quite a variety of poses, especially with his multiple arms and with the way they're designed they don't crash into each other when using the function so it works a little bit better than skull slicer but as you can see he's still got basher's problem of mask falls off a lot and i can't even keep track of this thing yeah, the mask is kind of tiny which is probably the biggest issue now he could put uh the skull uh, warrior mask on there, but not the skull spider mask that Slicer came with. But overall, it's a really, really cool combination. I'm not really sure what else uh, much to say about it. It is really neat. Um, is it worth spending an extra 45 bucks to have on its own, aside from the villains? Well, if you really, really like the design, I'd say go for it. Um, personally, it's not a in-story combination as of right now. So I don't see any reason to buy a second set just to have this permanently, but I might actually pick it up if I have some coupons or there's a buy one, get one 50% off Lego sale at, 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 you know, Lego or Toys R Us or whatever. Um, but overall, I gotta say, this, this is a really cool combination overall, and I'm hoping that every wave has combinations like this for the future, because this is a great way to combine sets, give you something else to do with them. So overall, I'd say the Bashing Slicing Skull Warrior... It's pretty darn cool. That is all for today on Bionicle Week, The Resurrection of Evil. Stay tuned for tomorrow, our grand finale with the other combination model, which is a combination of the Skull Scorpio, Kulta, and Ikimu. Also be sure to stay tuned here on Soundout 12 for three videos a week. Model Kit Monday on Mondays, Soundout's Toy Chest, the Mystery Review Series on Thursdays, and Soundout Review on Saturdays. Also be sure to check out HeroTaka.com for all your Bionicle news and more, and talk some Soundout saying. Goodbye.